Okay. Mark the Stampede here, and I'm going to be reviewing slash playing uh, Top Spin 2K25. <clears throat> I'm going to say right off the bat, this is not Top Spin 4. Um, let's just go over a couple things real quick. So first thing to look at, let's just look at... Um, Okay, the first thing, we're going to play the exhib Exhibition. And just look at the roster here. So, it's a decent roster. Roster. It's I mean, it's, I'm going to say it's pretty disappointing, honestly. Um, decent, but disappointing. Uh, it's a weird... It's a weird... Um, two at the bottom are people that I made. Uh... It's a weird mix of active players and legends, and I think if like this was the thing for either act if this if they had this amount of players for either active or legends to be pretty good, but it's missing some obvious people here. Um, doesn't have Casper Rude, doesn't have Sitsi Sitsipa, it doesn't have. Uh, I don't think Krigos is. I wouldn't say he's necessarily needed, but. It does have Med Medivive, it does have Alcaraz, so um I, so it's like it's like a like I said, decent roster. It has to foe I would it seems a lot uh especially for the men it seems pretty United States centric, which I guess makes sense because it's uh, <laughs> but I mean the United States isn't exactly <laughs> killing it right now. Um I mean, I think the women's roster is better. Uh, it's got Swiatek, it's got Coco, it's got. I'm surprised it has Radicuno and. Uh, oh, Layla Fernandez. That's people. I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect. actually expect them to be either be on the roster, but that's cool. Um, it's got Wasn't so. It's got Sloan Stevens. It's got Osaka. So. Plushkova, um, ideally to me, they'd have at least the top t the top ten men and the top ten women, and the winners and runners up of every of the past four major of the past the majors of the last year. So that would be probably be at least around twelve, like the top twelve and the top. I probably just like I mean, ideally the top fifteen women, and the top fifteen men. Um, also kind of odd it's just like they've got Serena who's retired <laughs> but sort of it's like this, he's got a couple a lot of those weird like people that are sort of retired but still sort of playing Serena Andy Murray um Caroline Wozniacki who's come back but actually let's see I'm going to be Serena and let's make let's make the it. I, I, let's make the AI Wozniacki. Uh, let's put it on normal, maybe. Let's see her outfit. Uh, yeah, okay. So, like I said, it's an okay. The actually, let's go back real quick. The legends are like Federer, I guess, technically a legend. Also, technically a legend. Um, oh, Agassi. Sampras, McEnroe. So, like I said, th this is very United States specific for the, especially the men. Um, Sharapova, Steffi Graf, and Caroline. Like, so basically, these are the women's legends, and Caroline was next, technically still playing, I believe. Serena Williams, pretty much a legend. Um, I think she technically retired. Uh, and you wonder if are they going to add in Chris Everett? I wonder if they're just saving much people for dump, dump for DLC. It's like you're going to have McEnroe, but not have Jimmy Connors, not have Leon Bor Borg. Um, I mean, obviously you can do the Agassi and Sampras stuff, but Steffi, uh, maybe obviously Caroline and Caroline Sharapova, Serena. That's a good mix, but um, 
Stephanie Graff without Chris Everett is weird. Abertrolova needs to be there too, obviously. Just just in terms of if you're going to be doing like who would these these loans you already have, who you want to see them play, right? So anyway. But anyway, no, I want to be Serena. And I want the AI to be I want the AI to be Wozniak. So, what is impressive, I think this is the first game since I think Grand Slam, the Grand Slam Tennis back on the, the Wii that has all four majors. It's got, um, honestly, it's got a decent amount of other ones too. So, Roland Garros, it's got, uh, I have, have I not unlocked? Oh, you know, Wimbledon, yeah. Rod Laver Arena, U.S. Open. All right, so let's do a let's do classic tennis. Uh, I haven't unlocked everything yet. Can I do tiebreaker? Set unlock overview. In oh God, it's annoying. Um, do a tie break, yeah. God, okay. Super tie break, all right. Okay, so let's just play that here. Let's do uh, nighttime. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't, I think there's, and I've played a lot, of, uh, I've been itching for a good tennis game for a long time, so I've played a lot of those not so great ones, I think there's the Australian Open Tennis game, there's, I think, one called just like Open Tennis, and they're all not great feeling, first of all, and none of them have all the, like, I think the Australian Open one has only the Australian Open, and the other one has, like, there's one that has, I think, everything but the Wimbledon. There's, this is just Please give the call into a London a Championship loss. or something like that. It sucks, but so having a tennis game that has all the majors available to play at, and having actually decent, like if this feels good. I don't think it feels as good as the last, as the Tosfin on 360. I think that one felt better. And I, th I don't know that that one had a. I mean, I will say about the Tosfin three, and I'm assuming I haven't really played much of the other Tosfins. The earlier ones. I will say that uh, it had a huge learning curve when I first <laughs> played Tops, Tosfin three, and like first I hated it, and then I got used to it. This one, I think the learning curve, they've really decreased it, but uh, we're gonna look at some issues I have with that still in, in a little bit. Well, I say this feels good. The movement feels pretty good. I've had a couple, I have a couple issues with some, uh, how they do it, like, sometimes you, you just can't get to the ball, uh, but, and they wouldn't even let you try. Like, your character will be locked. So like oh, it's like oh, for example, like if I went to the net and they hit like a perfect passing shot past me, I I tried a couple times where I tried to move and I just can't. They're like oh well you can't move so it doesn't matter. But I think that feels pretty good. Yeah, like I, that's not this is not how Serena would play. Wouldn't go to the net. Look at that, it's a pretty decent serve. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sharapova. Don't, I mean, Wozniak, not Sharapova. So yeah, it's good they have Sharapova. I oh uh, yeah, but in terms of women, they don't have they don't have. Sab Sablanca, they don't have Williams. Halep, I don't, maybe, I wonder if Halep was an issue with the doping thing, but who knows. Um, 
she's been cleared now, so she should be maybe she'll be part of the and also part of the. I'm just, I mean, I'm just assuming there's going to be DLC. Because how could they not have DLC? Alright, it's getting a little bit harder. And the graphics are... I'm not blown away by the graphics. I think the graphics are decent, but not like super impressive. They have... Um, there is a lot of there is a lot of venues, of even other than just the uh, just the majors, and all the venues I've played in that I recognize look correct. Like this looks like the U.S. Open, down to the sponsors and everything. I don't know. Can't get that. You can't get that Wasniacki. You need to fend your way to a point against Serena. No. Of course not. Power shot. Six, yep. Two, Look at that. Two, Just beautiful. Beautiful ace. Okay. It's a nice... It's, like I said, it feels good. Don't really, really feel like I'm not in control except for those parts I mentioned. So I appreciate that. Eight, two, I wish there was some commentary during the matches. I mean, I wouldn't expect it everywhere. Or it's like, I guess the, I don't know if they would be afraid to be get too repetitive. But I don't know anything. Out. There's no commentary at all. Uh, maybe we'll look at a replay in the last this last point here. Yeah, I'm that I'm that confident. Just, okay. Look at that. Oh, all right. Well, let's guess that wasn't the no. Okay, not gonna be the last one. Let's look at the replay. Replay thing is pretty cool. It is a lot of a uh, kind of similar to similar to I think the two K twenty foot NBA one. You can change the different um, change the cameras, and I'm pretty sure they can do all of them. Change the cameras, to look at it from different rate angles. So that's, I mean, it's pretty 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 decent. All right. I don't think we're going to get a... Yeah, you can't return that. You can't. All right, I guess you can. Nope. Not going to make it. Look at that. Perfect down the line. All right. Yeah, let's see. The faces are, like, decent, but not great. I There's better faces in other sports games, I think. I don't know. Well, maybe not sports games, but there's definitely better faces in other games. And I think, especially with this short, this small roster, they could have really improved the. I think that's like not. Is this better than 2K's own work on WWE? Maybe. No, no. I think it's about the same, honestly. And there's a, the WWE rosters are huge. They're really gonna do like 30 character, 30 players. You should really nail it down, I think. So, disappointing. The... So yeah, some... Yeah, see, just on the hair, there's some... See some artifacting. This feel... The movement feels... True, like that feels like that feels like a celebration you're gonna have. Uh, yeah, I mean the crowds are never good. All right, do I have a coat? Don't get mad at me if I win. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, like I said, if just just gonna be a game you're gonna play against your friends. That's fine. Uh, I will. Okay, let's go to my next issue. 
So this is the top spin of candy. So this is basically how you learn how to play the game. Okay, a couple issues with this. First off, if it's a tutorial for a game, they should all be it should all be unlocked right away. There's no reason to lock. Like you're, you're not if you can't finish one of the tutorial, you should be able to go on to the next one. Like this one, I'm stuck on. I'll show you. Learning to play the stupid inside out and the, and the reason I'm stuck on it, I'm pretty sure it just doesn't work. Coming back for another round of advanced lessons. Today we're going to be focusing on a technique known as inside out. You can watch this real quick. A demo of inside out shots and to see why you might want to use them. Okay, so now we're talking about how to hit a shot inside out and the times it might be a good idea. So what does inside out mean? Well, basically it's when instead of just hitting the ball, you run around it first and hit with the opposite swing. So if the ball is coming to your backhand, you run around it and then hit it with the forehand. To perform an inside-out shot, you press the inside-out input while pushing the move input toward your desired hit position. That'll make you run around the other side of the ball's trajectory and hit from the opposite wing. Watch how this player... So you're just saying hold L to L tr the left trigger down while you're moving towards the, towards the ball. Pressing the inside out input while moving around the ball before they release a swing input. And that works whether you're coming in from either side, too. Here, the player runs around a forehand to hit a backhand. Okay, so now we know what an inside out shot is, but why would you want to use one? Glad you asked. Main reason you'd want to run around an incoming ball is to hit it with a swing, forehand or backhand, that has a higher attribute. So typically, this would be a player with a super high forehand attribute, but a lower backhand attribute. It's a move that lets you use your biggest weapon, even when your opponent has hit the ball to your weaker side. Just don't forget, you'll need more time to cover that extra distance, so you can only really use this technique when you receive a slow ball from your opponent. Also, hitting a shot inside out is likely to take you further from the center of the court and to give an opening to your opponent if they can get to your shot and hit it to the open court. Here's the lowdown on inside out and everything we've just covered. Okay, so I just need to hold left trigger. Inside out, we can start by moving around these shots and hit a well-timed okay. inside out forehand. All right, so this is the issue. I'm, I need to... I need to hit a inside out shot, but I also have it heat have it on a good timing, and that's the part. Just getting just it's like a like a like a rub your belly Don't thing. You you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so I'm trying. To, I, oh, if I get the inside out, then I can't get the. Keep trying. It's just too much work. It's too too many things at once, right? If I'm holding down a left trigger. Again. I'm if I'm concentrating too much on hitting the left trigger. Hit it inside out. Finally, okay. That's too too soon. Yeah, too soon. I'm just gonna hold left trigger down the whole time. Way too soon. Try one button maybe. Still way too soon. All right. There we go. Good. See, but the same thing. So, like, I got stuck on this earlier, and I would like to go on to the next lesson. Don't worry. But I can't until I beat this lesson. It was just. This is tutorial. One, you shouldn't get stuck on anything. Two, if you. If the whole point of teaching you the game, you should be able to skip around. There's no reason to, like, gatekeep to the, the tutorial, side. right? <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I already messed up. Just gotta hold, keep holding down. <laughs> Just gotta wait for it to go, I guess. And then I also have to see now. I'm this game too. Now I gotta. Okay, I got it. It's like it's, it's like I gotta press the button that way. It's basically I gotta press the button like three separate ways. Gonna hold it down. Great. Nice aim. I'm getting it now, but it is very hard. If I wasn't talking through it, I probably would never probably would never get it down. 
Yeah, I'm now, see, I'm getting the inside out part. I'm not getting the next part. I'm holding it too much. I'm holding it down too long. No, I didn't, didn't even hold it down at all. And try one button again. Too soon. Yeah. That didn't, he didn't, he didn't move around. Sometimes I feel like, this is what was getting frustrated. I felt like he wasn't moving sometimes when I was trying to hit it. All right, hopefully this is the last part that I'm done with this. Just need one more, one more good hit. All right, wrong way. No, oh, that was a mess. All right, we did it. Okay, but anyway, so like I could go to the next lesson, but I don't want to, but just saying, that's I think one other thing that frustrated me about this game. I didn't even get to the next. They're like, don't lock, don't lock the lessons. They're lessons, right? Okay, now this is the big part. I didn't have any bother playing online, but this is the big issue, and that is the my career which is where the majority of people are going to be spending their time, right? Uh, so your AI difficulty, match format. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is so this is the annoying part of this. So like obviously, the beginning of the game, not everything is not everything is um unlocked, which is that's fine. The thing that's frustrated is you don't unlock bigger, like, if you figure, like, okay, I win a, two, a 250 tournament, the 500 should unlock. I win a 500 for it. The, the, the AP, the 1,000 should unlock. I win, I play well enough in 1,000 that you are just unlocking the 1,000 should also unlock the majors. But it doesn't. You have to go through and do all these stupid things. You have to... It's based on these checklists on this over here, I don't know, or it's on the right there, where it says play one TS250 tournament, play one sponsor challenge, play one bronze training. So you have to do all that. And eventually, I mean, it's easy at the beginning. It's whatever, just playing a bronze training. But when it's like complete a platinum training, and then it's like, what? And the platinum trainings are super hard. It's not fun, and it's like when and uh, and on, on my other character, I had beaten the number one char the number one player in the world <laughs> at a AT one thousand events. I was number I was ranked twelfth in the world, and I still couldn't play in majors. Like if that had if, if those things were true, I would have already been. In the majors, right? I they would have I would have been invited to the majors. I I beat Meditativ at an ATP one thousand event. I was ranked number twelve. It's just ludicrous. It's like that's not how, that's not how it goes. And it's like I guess they they're trying to make they're basically trying to force you to play the trainings and play play the like the events that aren't that aren't that aren't the actual tournaments, but it's just not, it's just like not fun. And it's like, it's turning it from like feeling like you're simulating playing a, playing somebody, playing it, pretending to be a tennis player to turning it to basically just being a checklist. And it's, I don't, I don't enjoy it. I was playing it and okay. So then playing one sponsor challenge. And it's just play in this first one, and then when it gets later, you have to win. You have to, you have to, you can't just, you have to finish them. It's not just playing on them. It's winning them. But there's so many other issues with this. Like, there was, I, I checklisted everything else on one, on one thing, and it's like I just had to play in two 500 tournaments. I didn't have to, but I didn't need to win them. So I'd already, I'd already won two 
like three 250 tournaments. I had to, uh, so I just played and lost on purpose, and then that that helped me go to the next thing. But it's like, well, it's just ridiculous. And then the whole thing about I, th there's a thing you can get where you can um. Where you can play, where you can, what was that, now I don't even know what I was saying. What was I talking about? I don't know. So this is also very confusing, because what you're trying to, you're not actually trying to win this tie break, you're trying to get five, get ten ground strokes in a row, or not in a row, ten ground strokes in a flat ground trucks in this game. I, so I guess you would if you don't do it before you lose, I guess you'd be you would you would fail, I guess is the point of this, but you only need to get basically one more ground stroke in and then I win. Yeah. No, okay, okay, now I do need to win the match, I guess. All right, but Okay. Uh, I guess I have an all-around player. It's just not very powerful right now. Feels weird after playing as a Serena. Nice serve and volley though for me. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I don't even think I can do a power serve with her. It's a brand new character, so. Doesn't matter. So it's like when you're purposely losing. <laughs> and then the other thing is like, oh, it says you have to win, like, the checklist thing is like you have to win three 250 tournaments. But if you, and like enter two 500 tournaments, if you win the two 500 tournaments you're in, you still have to go back and win the, you still have to go back and win the three 250, which is ridiculous. Like, I just won two, two, they, sh they should count, should count as the 500 one should count on the 250 checklist. Just, it's just like they're putting the checklist up to make you play the game longer. It's just, oh man, so many issues with this game. It's uh, they've really ruined the fun of the uh, fun of the um. They just kind of. So the podcasts are okay. They they started kind of interesting, but then they just seem like they're talking about nothing. Um, so, all right. So this is so you can hear. You can edit your. You can do it basically by yourself. And you can you can just custom customize it, or you can do it based on certain characters, certain players. So baseline defense, baseline offense, all around. Oh. Yeah, let's let's try all around, I think. It's served value on my other character, so let's do. And you can get some thing you can buy stuff and stuff, but oh, I guess I just unlock that. Okay. Okay. So I think the other thing that's you're kind of that's irritating about this game, so Another, th uh, not the other thing. One of the other, one of the many other things is. Know, the TS two fifties are the lowest category of tournaments, which means lower ranked players are able to enter the draw, but there's not a lot of ranking points at stake. This is where many of the sport's future stars get their start, and we get to find who will sink and who will swim. One added bonus is the venues themselves, smaller, much more personable. I can honestly agree with the last statement. The TS two fifties will really sponsor challenges, yeah. You and relax you much more than most of those larger events. For new players, this is the perfect learning environment. It's also great for a Yeah, I like how it's I, there's nothing that interesting. Like they they sort of talk about you sometimes, but everything is so generic. So another thing that I don't appreciate about this game is so you get these things 
for like playing well. I guess they're called like action points that you can. But the problem is you can use the action points for you, and you get experience. But you can use the action points to buy stuff, and to and to buy, to buy like everything. Like you have to get your experience up to f upgrade your player, and then you use the action points to like buy buy like cosmetics and buy and like hire coaches and hire like team members which is okay I guess but I don't know it's just a very I feel like that'd be better if I don't know it's like they should do something where you get your you get winnings like actual like dollar amounts of winnings for playing well in the like you maybe get action points for playing the sponsor challenges and the trainings and stuff and doing coach objectives because like you never have enough action points to do anything <laughs> it's like oh i need to hire a new coach to get more but then you hire a new coach and then you're like oh i don't have any action points left but it's like if i was if you're actually giving me the and i need to hire a team but i don't have any money if you're actually giving me the money from like from the that I, from these tournaments that i'm winning i could hire a team So it's just a lot of, uh, uh, I have already, and another thing that's super irritating is your character gets tired so quickly. So, for multiple, so a lot of time, for I played, I think, about four years with my other character, and I was not playing more months than I was playing because of stupid stamina because either there is no stamina to gain or there's a couple months where I couldn't I was like trying to checklist things to get to the next part and there was like just nothing to do that month <laughs> so it's like well I'm not going to bother wasting energy so it was just like it's just a very just the way that everything is structured around in this around these checklists and these action points in this career mode is very disappointing and I think you I think you can get like an action point boost for like getting the pre-order or something so I'm sure you can buy stuff it's like I, feel, I don't know if they're trying to like monetize it monetize, monetize it somehow but what was so much better about the previous versions of Top Spin is you could choose what to do each month but the whole the thing that was different the thing that was like the risk reward is you'd play in a better tournament. You you could play. You usually got. I think I think they only gave you two options, but like you play in a you play in a dinky tournament. You probably could win, right, and get some decent ranking points maybe. If you play, but not that great. You play in a good tournament. You play in the the like the higher rank ranking tournament. You're gonna even if you didn't, you could you're gonna play harder harder players, harder opponents, but you could get better. You could win more points. So that was the risk and reward. I think there's another thing that's kind of irritating about this game is I feel it felt like there's no when you're going between the 250 and the 500 and the 1,000 tournaments. There's there are you're pretty much always you're still facing the same <laughs> opponents. I mean, you're play, usually playing the actual, not really playing the actual pros till the 1,000 tournaments, but just, you can't, I don't know. I couldn't believe how, it's like sometimes I would win a 500 tournament, and then I'd get out in the first round of the two, of the 250, the very, like right after. It's just like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like this, it's like the same caliber of opponents sometimes and then there a lot of tournaments you'd, you'd I, I don't know if maybe this is a style thing maybe but it's like I'd I'd struggle a lot with like oh, I got this just trying to get past this guy this guy in the first round and then second round was like okay this is as hard it's a little bit easier and then the f final round I would like smoke the guy and he'd get like maybe one one point You'd be like, what is going on? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. 
you figure as, as like as you go through the tournament, it should get harder, not he's not the the, the t difficulty shouldn't vacillate wildly. So I don't know. So some decent amount of points here. Okay, I need a, need to hire a coach, so I can hire a coach to to get some more points. Uh, if I have enough. Oh, I got not enough available yet. Okay. So let's see. It's a beautiful night. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if there was just never going to be, it was just the, the, the legacy of Topspin is just too much. There was just no way it was ever going to live up to it, or if it's just, it's not, it's just the way that, 2K has changed so much lately. And, I mean, I do still love NBA 2K games, and they're still great, but... Everything, like, they're obviously... And it's just the way also just games in general have changed, where microtransactions are just part of the norm now. And every game, even in the single player, has to have some sort of way to be like, do you want to give us some more money? <laughs> and... I know I sound like an old man, but it's like, I don't enjoy that. Back when, I, I really don't enjoy any of the changes they made to this. I find them, I find all, pretty much nearly every change super irritating. And not fun to play. Uh, making the, kind of taking all the fun out of the game. So, I don't, I don't know. And it's like it's possible to patch it. It's like they could they could patch it out so there's just no reason for the checklist or make that an option, but are they would they do that? I don't know. Just like make like I said, just make the just there should the requirement should be to enter like win a tour like win a tournament. <laughs> win a two fifty tournament. Or it's like to get to a I don't know. It's it's like what? What are the actual requirements in in ATP and WTA? It's like to, to, there's no requirements for the 250. Make to get into a 500. Unlock the 500 ones. Just either win a 250 or play. Is get into the top 50 to get into the top to and then to unlock eight the 1,000 events and the mass and the Grand Slams. It's just like win a. 500 or be in the top 25 and then they should be unlocked from that on it's just like this is I don't know I mean this is clearly the best playing tennis game on this generation like I said I played pretty much all of them and the other ones are not good but the other ones do have better the other ones are a lot more fun in terms of pro single player progression they they don't have all these dumb requirements. So, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm going to play AO Open Tennis 2 or whatever again. Probably never again. But I think that... I think that that had a much better... <laughs> I think that it was a lot more fun in terms of just, like, trying to progress as through career. Man, I'm killing it. Killing it. Also, I will say, also, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't know what the difficulty, the difficulty I was playing on easy. This is not that much. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, my other, my other, my other one was on easy, and then this is on normal, and it feels exactly the same. Maybe, I don't, I mean, I was just playing on easy earlier today, so. And my other guy has a lot more. My other guy has a lot, like, is much higher. So, yeah. The stamina thing is... Okay. I know you're not great stamina when you're... Uh, they want you to... But it's like, it doesn't make any sense. You're saying, you're telling me that I have to skip 
one to two months every th every two three months. <laughs> it's just oh my goodness. As I don't know, this is the statement. I think just really irritates me. It's like, and then at the end of each year, they have the other podcast about how I did did so terrible. It's like, well, I had to take off six months for the stupid stamina. That's just not. And then you're getting to the point where I'm also just getting. To, I, you start to get bored. It's just like I. Uh, you have to keep. You have, there's so many time checklists of beating 250 tournaments, and I played this stupid Auckland. I played this Auckland Open so many times. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> um, and there's other, and it's like I could play other ones, but then I could if I played the other tournaments, then I wouldn't get the do the stupid. The checklist wouldn't go forward. It's just like. Uh, I like. I wonder if this is similar to the when WWE when WWE came back out of their brief sabbatical, right? Where it was a decent game, but there were still tons of problems with it. Maybe they need another year to get all kinks out. I know on the Reddit, no, but on the two K twenty five Reddit, nobody is upset. <laughs> There's like one guy. <laughs> That's like I really like the way they changed the career. Or else is like a euro. You're the only person, man. So, and maybe that maybe that maybe that's the guy that decided made all those decisions. Who knows? Power shot. But like I've I mean it already feels I'm already it's already fluid. I already feel fluid at this game. Only been playing it since it came out, and I already feel pretty fluid with it. I think the learning curve, like I said, is much easier than the older Topspin games. It feel the gameplay feels good. So, um, if you just want to buy the cheapest version of it and play only your friends. That's what I recommend you do. <laughs> Play only your friends couch co-op. Don't bother doing anything else. I don't. I have no idea how the online goes. I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty sure I just get smoked. All right, Irene. So I was super excited about this game. It came, kind of came out of the blue that it was making a comeback. They've been talking about Skate for so long, and I don't even know—I didn't even know they were talking about re rebooting this one. I know it's different companies, but in terms of the things that are coming back from the dead after year, people have been begging for it for years, it's like Top Spin, Skate, uh, NCA football. So, Crazy Dexy, I guess, according to the <laughs> that one Dreamcast thing at Games Fest. Yeah, winner, winner. I'm doing good. Okay, so you'll see. I don't have a coach yet. Now I can get a coach. And now I think I should have checklisted, gone to the next thing. Oliver? Yes, Emma? Did I not tell you this was the one? This unknown prospect 
fact has grown to a rookie sensation seemingly overnight. Wasn't I the one who told you about them first? Well, either way, I think it's good to see some fresh new talent on the tour. It's not every day we get to talk about a potential rising star like this. Maybe one day we'll be talking about them as a legend of the sport. Okay, so like you see here, it's like you gotta play play in four two fifty tournaments, play two bronze target drills, play one volley or serve training, play two bronze proving rounds. It's like oh my gosh. And the thing about the it's like you get the pro the proving rounds don't, don't appear every every single week, every single month. They'll improve some they'll only appear some months. And then so like right now, I I I have to play the two fifty tournament. I don't the fifty five hundred's not even open, but that's what I'm saying. It's just I beat the two fifty. Open up the five hundred for me. Don't give me your dumb checklist. So anyway, if you have to play this game, <laughs> if you're such a fan of topspin two K topspin. That you've been waiting for, and you're probably have already played it. Uh, I got it on Xbox. I guess I could have got. It's also on PS5, but it just feels like an Xbox. I know it was on. I I played it originally on Xbox 360, so it's always just feels like an Xbox series to me. Even though I know it's on both. Uh, though wasn't I feel like the original one was Top Spin. The very first one I feel like was Xbox exclusive, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but other than that, I would say wait for next year. Hopefully next year they fix the franchise, the way that you do the single player career. Hopefully they fix how you do tutorials. There's just a lot of, and they make the faces better. They get a, but there's a better roster. There's a lot of just things that about this game that are not quite there yet. And I, they did a good job of taking taking a pause from WWE. Getting it, getting out, getting it back out, and then improving it again, improving it more the next year. So I don't know. I would say that this is not exactly. This is not going to light the world on fire. This is not going to be better than a. This is not. This does not. This is not the best 2K sports game that's come out. <laughs> This cycle, I would say, to get the NBA games much better. So that's my review of Top Spin 2K25. Until next time, take it easy.